how stubble burning is destroying India's agriculture. How it is affecting beyond air pollution and leading to an ecological collapse. Every winter we talk about stubble burning or crop residue burning as an air pollution problem. But recent studies show that, that the problem goes much beyond. It is more like a ticking ecological time bomb and this needs to be addressed immediately. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi Slash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand that how crop residual burning is much more than just an air pollution problem. So let us understand that how the new study has highlighted that there are concerns related to crop residue burning which goes beyond PM 2.5 smog that we see in North India. So the new research has clearly highlighted that there are multiple agroecological damages which are caused by stubble burning that is taking place. Now let us understand what exactly is the damage that we are talking about. So the burning directly disrupts the soil health, it affects the biodiversity and it is going to bring an impact to the food security and food productivity as well. We will be getting into all of this in detail but if we talk about stubble burning specifically we get to see that the cases have gradually been reducing but if we break down the cases by state you will find that there are states like Uttar Pradesh where we are seeing a gradual rise in stubble burning for example Rajasthan again a rise in stubble burning Madhya Pradesh a significant number increase and the reduction has been monumental in Punjab and Haryana but the reduction is being offset by the increase that we are seeing in the other states specifically. Now if we are talking about stubble burning initially we were looking it as in just a originator of air pollution that we see in Delhi NCR region or North Indian region but now this has created a vicious cycle because we are talking about more stubble burning that means we will be talking about more pests, we will be talking about more chemical fertilizers, pesticides and then there is declining soil fertility as well. Now let us understand all of this in detail. Starting with how does stubble burning directly affect the biodiversity that we are talking about related to agriculture. It directly kills arthropods decomposers. How? When we are talking about creating a fire, whatever is the crop residue which is present in the farm, you are burning that, then whatever is the arthropod, be it a beetle, bug, frogs, mites and decomposers including earthworms, millipedes, so bugs, all of these are going to be killed directly and that is going to impact soil aeration, nutrient cycling and it will directly impact the other insects which are present related to them. For example, if we are talking about ants, butterflies, bugs, flies, etc. Now this will affect the food cycle. Once you are killing off certain organisms in the cycle, then the food cycle is going to be directly affected. That is why food productivity will also be affected. Other than that, there are birds are also at risk. The air pollution which is caused by smoke, it leads to respiratory issues which is common in human beings also. But it also leads to the eggshell thinning in birds, heavy metal contamination has also been seen and all of these also leads to food scarcity because the insects have been killed. If that insect has been killed, that cannot be part of the food cycle. That means it will directly lead to problems in terms of reproduction for birds as well as survival. All in all, we get to see that there is breakdown of food cycle and food chains and the farm ecosystem is becoming extremely unstable because of CRB. Now apart from the biodiversity impact, we are also seeing that it is not only hampering the air quality but it is also impacting the soil quality. So if we talk about soil degradation, the decline is usually up to 2.5 centimeter whenever the burning takes place. It increases the soil temperature which goes from the range of 33 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. It usually leads to nitrogen loss the organic matter is reduced in the soil and the microbial depth is also impacted 
Apart from this, we also get to see that the air pollutants are released, which we are talking about CRB as being a source of air pollution, where we are finding carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxides, VOCs, heavy metals, particulate matter, 2.5 particulate matter, 10, which harm beneficial insects, pollinators, as well as soil microbes. So there is direct killing also involved and indirect killing also involved through air pollutions. As of now, I'm not even talking about the air pollution that is causing problems to the human beings, the kind of smog that appears and the problems that it leads to economic productivity and other things. Now, what does this lead to? It directly impacts the crop productivity. That means the food productivity in the coming times will also decline. That will also be impacted. It will lead to long term soil infertility because na natural fertility, if it is being compromised, people will use chemical fertilizers. If chemical fertilizers by are being used, that means there is a consequence that will come after a point of time, the soil will turn infertile. Then this directly also contributes to climate change because of multiple greenhouse gases that are being emitted because of the burning that takes place. Now, apart from the soil being affected, apart from the air being affected, the biodiversity being affected, the stubble burning is not being addressed as a situation of crisis where there are immediate measures that are being taken. But what can be done in the coming times to address this situation? What should be the way forward? The first thing is a solution oriented approach where the farmers are burning the crop residue which is present in their farms to get rid of it. So we need to provide a solution that can come with technology. For example, if you talk about PUSA decomposer which is developed by Indian Agricultural Research Institute, it is a bio decomposer which can be used by farmers to decompose the crop residue which is present. It will not harm the biodiversity, it will not harm the soil quality and definitely the air quality as well. There are other technological solutions such as happy cedar can be used, super straw management can be used. Furthermore, policy measures have already been taken but they need to be implemented in real time. For example, if we talk about submission on agricultural mechanization, incentives needs to be given for in situ and ex situ residue use. If farmers are avoiding the residue burn and they are using the residue in their farms or giving it out for use, be it for bioenergy, packaging, ethanol, government has multiple initiatives. Can you tell me in the comment section where the government has given option for the for the ex situ residue use where farmers can give the residue to the government and they will be incentivized for the same. Other than that, the focus needs to also shift to the agroecological approach where crop diversification, zero till farming, uh, organic manure use, when we are talking about focusing on conservating the biodiversity, the fertility, then we need to understand the agroecological needs and how diversification can help in terms of conserving it. Furthermore, it also calls for community and behavioral change which can only happen through awareness. If we are talking about what are the harm that is being done to the soil, which is the harm, what is the harm that is being done to the productivity. If the farmer producer organization, they come up and they share machineries which can help these situation. And if this is implemented in real time, it will not only help India to address the issue of st stubble burning, but also it will help us to align with SDG 15 that is related to life on land, our Paris climate goals and India's very own soil health mission. Now that was all from my side. Thank you so much.